What's up, y'all? This is D from Brooklyn. Trying to start that saltwater tank, but you're not quite ready for the reef, or maybe you just don't want the reef tank set up. Today, I'm going to show you how you can aquascape it and let it look natural, but keeping it simple. So you're going to want to stay tuned. From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Bump! So if you guys have been watching, you'll know that I got several saltwater tanks here, several planted tanks here. And I just wanted to focus this on you guys that are trying to start the saltwater setup, but are not quite ready for the reef, but you want to get a nice tank set up. So I got my native species tank set up here. As you know, I got several reef tanks, including nanos, things of all sizes, all sorts of setups. But I want to set this episode here for you guys that are starting out want to get the fish in there want to get it set up but you're not quite ready for the reef and for that i'm going to show you a few things i got here from our buddies at pin plaques yeah pin plaques good support of brooklyn aquarium society and i was looking at their website i was looking at their catalog and i was like i want to set up a more planted uh aquascape for the native species tank but I don't want to focus everything on growing plants because I'm not going the coral route. I want to let it look natural, but I want to give the fish a habitat that will induce them into feeling like they have cover and everything else. So as you can see, I already have some grass set up here, which is not real grass. It is artificial. They are artificial plants. I also threw in some chato from my refugium upstairs just to help with the cycling of the tank. And the fish have really gravitated towards it. The shrimp are all over the place. It gives the snail something natural to go dig up in. If you can see here, here's one of my grass shrimp right here. They tend to blend in with the surroundings, so it also helps with the coloration. You can see I have tons of snail eggs over here. They're already like multiplying. I'm gonna have like a thousand snails here. But for that reason, I want to get away from the plain sandy bottom and give them some more ground cover. So for that purpose, I'm gonna use the aquascaping low growing grass that you see here to give it a real natural setup. And this is a typical, typically overlooked solution for guys when they're going into the saltwater side of the hobby. It's always focused on the dry pile of rock setup or even the, the reef setup. And a lot of people just aren't ready to go reef, but they want the saltwater setup. So as you can see, I don't have my basic saltwater fish in here, but I got my saltwater bread mollies in here and a few that I just acclimated recently to the salt. And they are a type of fish that like to have cover. And, and just when you have cover in a tank, the fish will be more, uh, more natural acting. They'll be a lot more uh, comfortable and will not be stressed as much as if you give them cover, they will nine out of 10 utilize that cover. And it makes just for a much more nicer aquarium. People come over, it looks a little more lived in for the fish. So let's put the grass in there. Let's take a look at it actually. To take it out of the box now one of the good things about this grass and I didn't know if it was gonna come on one sheet or multiple sheets but this is awesome because you can spread it out it's not one big plate actually this is pretty cool pin plaques has been making stuff for aquariums a long time one of those companies that you really really have to appreciate they made some of the first breeder boxes and and holding spots for fish but this grass I particularly like because I have some fake uh, rather I hate calling it fake but artificial grass uh, that I use for uh, putting in my container tubs upstairs to try to get the fish to uh, induce spawning but I said for this tank here I really don't just want to stare at the sand I want to give it a lot more green look let me just straighten the camera up here I'm trying to work with my hands full but I really did not realize okay let's say that that this came in sections I'm really happy about that because I don't know if I'm going to put it on the sheer outside try to hate that stay there or make like a bottom like bottom cover with grass but see how that already looks lived in if you take a look at that rather than just having the sand 
even though it's black, I'm already seeing little copepods in the sand that I'm staring close. But um, having a more natural cover and more natural scenic look to the tank is always the main point of starting an aquarium. And this little package here, I'm trying to get them to stay without knocking them all down, playing kind of game of dominoes right now. One of them had to fall, <laughs> but there's actually four or five of them in that package. So that's pretty cool. Maybe if I turn it this way, eh, it's just going to want to fall. So I'm going to spread these out, put them in the tank. I'll come back, give you a shot of what it looks like. I'm not going to just lay them out like that, but you can already see the difference. I'm not using very strong, light, uh, very strong lights. These are the basic Aqua Neat. Uh, LEDs that I had over the super cube that I replaced with my super secret weapon lights as you can see everything but the kitchen sink is growing in there now but uh, I just want to illuminate the tank I'm not raising coral in this tank um, and this will not only create a natural habitat for the bottom bottom dwelling fish i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna have in here but i already have shrimp in here i have crabs hermits and snails in here and this is pretty soft actually oh yeah now i'm feeling it. it doesn't feel like hard plastic it actually feels a little soft i put some other plants in there already and i already you know what guys i was on the fence about that red rock but when you add color to the tank that red rock does not stand out as much. It really softens the look of the tank. Even putting these on the outside of the tank already gives it a more natural feel. So I'm gonna get these in the tank, come back and you guys can uh, see how it looks. Um, one of the other things I wanna say is a lot of people are intimidated. As soon as you say salt water, they oh no, it's so difficult and this and that and this and the other thing. Nitrate cycle, nitrogen cycle, you know, filtration all basic principles of aquarium keeping still apply to salt if you don't want to raise coral you do not have to raise coral not saying that you're going to have mollies but i can put regular saltwater fish in here it's just that i'm choosing to go with the native species and the weather has been absolutely crummy here in brooklyn so i have not been able to go out and net anymore because it's like raining and like 50 degrees outside but I could put clownfish in here. I could put starfish in here. I have serpent star in there. He's gone. I don't know where the heck he is. But this is a typical, simple setup for raising your basic saltwater fish. This is a 40 breeder, basic filtration, soft lighting. It's not going to raise, uh, not going to raise any eyebrows. It's not super controlled. It's hooked up. Um, just on and off. You can see my filter sock is doing double duty. I put filter floss in there. It's cleaning the water. Got my agitation. It's a basic tank setup. So this is something that you guys can do and not be intimidated and get kind of caught up in all of the super expensive aspects of the hobby. So uh, my goal for this channel is to make everything amenable to the everyday person. So let me get these pieces in the tank. Let's see how it looks. One thing I am going to do here is I'm going to show you how I take some of the uh, actual live plants that I'm going to add to the tank. And I'm going to use some good old fascial coral effects, coral effects to attach some of this stuff to rock and mix the artificial with the real and make it look pretty as natural as I can probably get it to look. But be reminded you don't have to use real plants at all you can get away with just using the artificial plants and creating a naturalistic environment so let's go and now here's your final product or maybe not my final product because i may still add some more to it but the moral of this is it doesn't have to be the usual rock pile that we're so used to seeing i mean those of you that have seen uh, or actually gone snorkeling or scuba diving there are so many variations in saltwater landscaping out there that aquascaping your tank should be just as unique something you like and i dare anybody to tell me what's real in here what's fake in here um the fish have a comfortable environment they've already ducked behind the grass um, I'm probably going to add some more rock and branch. You can see this branch I just added recently. Soak it up with water. And I have real plants in here and fake plants in here. 
Um, leave your comments below if you can identify the real plants in here from the fake plants in here. And the fish have already started swimming up in the branches. I see them uh, in spots that I've never seen them. The shrimp I actually found are burying themselves in the sand. And they're actually real close. If you look real close, you may even see one right in the front already exploring the grass and uh, making themselves at home. Um, I may change the lighting because now that I have brighter color uh, base decorations, the overall color of the tank is actually different. And like I said, comfortable environment for the fish, easy on the eyes, more hiding places, and that's the goal. So as with all my videos, I make these videos to make it more amenable to people coming into the hobby new that are scared to deal with the live rock and cycling and nitrate cycle and fragging makes it easy and more accessible for everybody so this is just a tip from me i hope it helps you guys out there uh to go into the salt water and not be so afraid of it um if you got questions leave them in the comments below i'm happy to answer your questions if you are not a subscriber click the subscribe button now by all means uh give a shout out to d from Bulkin on instagram and check out our people at pen plaques we love to hear from you love peace and hair grease this is d